Hi, welcome to codersa.com. In the previous video of PySpark tutorial series, we explained complete process of PySpark installation. Now, in this video, we will show you how to use PySpark in the Jupyter Notebook. To use PySpark, first of all, we have to install PySpark in our system. This will allow use PySpark in the Jupyter Notebook and able to create a PySpark job in the Jupyter Notebook. If you don't know how to install PySpark in the local system, watch the previous video of PySpark tutorial series link given in the description box. Now first of all, we check PySpark is installed or not in the system. To check, we have just open Anaconda command prompt and type PySpark. It will take some time. If PySpark is installed in our system, you will be able to see this type of output. Now we will see how to use PySpark in Jupyter Notebook. So here, first we abort the task and type Jupyter Notebook. Here I select the first directory. Here we created new script by clicking on Python 3 button. Now to use perform the PySpark operation in the notebook, we need to first import FindSpark and after that initialize FindSpark. So initializing. First of all, I mean import FindSpark. and run the cell. Now we can see it it is successfully initialized the find spark. Now we can import PySpark. It is successful installed. Now we can perform the PySpark job in the Jupyter Notebook. After importing the PySpark, we need to create a Spark session. So a Spark session can be used to create a data frame, register data frame as a table, execute SQL over table and catch tables and read parquet files, etc. So to create a Spark session, import
here I am using tab button it will automatically comes Now this code successfully run. Now here we will show you how to read the data in PySpark. You create a data frame. Here to make sure that this data set in the same directory here. Now run this cell. Now it is successfully read the data. Now here we will display the data set. It will print the first 20 records in the data set. So now in this video, we showed you how to use PySpark in the Jupyter Notebook. Uh, we will see some other operations of PySpark in the next video. Thank you.